I'm going to give an overview now of the Saab X Finder. This is a really incredible meter and it sold massively well for us. I'm speaking here in the end of 2016. It sold tremendously well for us over the last two years and now they have a new improved version of it. So what the, the main features have been on it all along is there's a satellite uh, finder on it. There's also a terrestrial finder. There's a lot of analysis as well. And now they've added in additional CCTV functionality on it as well. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give an overview of exactly what we get in the outer box here. Um, and I'll give an overview of the different menu inf interfaces on it. And we have a series of videos covering all the main topics I'm going to uh, touch on uh, in the main video here. So the first thing to note is a huge number of connections here. And in terms of buttons and connections, there's a switch on the side. Other than that, everything is fully encased here. Here, and we can work directly through and there's this protective cover that comes on the actual uh, meter here and then there's a protective cover that goes over it like that okay so we'll come back to this meter in a while it comes in this outer case here which you can see a very professional outer case with a user manual which is in English we have a um, this structure here uh, just is giving an overview of the setup and um, exactly on it and then we actually have a remote control with it so in a lot of ways this is actually like a small tv screen with a, a remote control because it has full satellite and terrestrial tuners built into it okay so we have a strap here which have the clips on and it allows us just to carry it um, on our shoulder um, uh, we have a power unit here and um, by default it would come with a three pin uh, our two pin plug, we've changed it out for a two pin plug for the Irish and UK market and also we have this charger here, just move this out of the way for a moment uh, this is a charger which means we can charge it as we were in the truck and uh, also then what we have here is a, a recovery uh, software this is a 3.5 over the RS232 so um, not normally something we'd use but something you can use for pushing software directly onto it so if we look at the main unit itself uh, we'll see here on the cover thing, um, I'll just go through the main features here. The power input is here, there's a, a video in and in, out, out here, so it's basically B and C connections like we use for the CCTV. On this element here, what we have is the satellite, uh, I would loop out, and then we have terrestrial input. Uh, we also have an RS-232, or sorry, an RS-485 here. So this is basically allowing us to control a PTZ directly from it. And uh, we'll have a, a video covering that Pacific area. And then what we have is a HDMI output on it, and also an Ethernet connection, uh, and a USB port here as well. And on the bottom here, you see there's actually a card slot as well. So if we're trying to actually work with encrypted channels, things like this, we can actually uh, use a common interface there and um, decrypt uh, encrypted channels on it. And then we just have the main uh, thing here. So we have the sort of um, power on off button here. We can power it on and off. And uh, we'll just go through the main features actually. I'll just come around to the front. And it'll be easier to display this to you if we're actually working directly off the TV itself. Okay. So what I might do is here, I'll just go around briefly. So if we look at the main menu here, uh, we're into uh, services here, okay? So if I come along and I just go into services, what we've actually done here already is we've actually come along and we've done a scan of both a terrestrial and a satellite input, which we've connected here. And if we go in here, we'll see that we have um, EWTN is one of the Catholic channels we have here. And what we've also done here is if I wanted to, I can hit the red button here and I can come down and I can make a decision to select terrestrial. And we can see all the Irish Serview channels are there, and we can see all the high definition channels are there. And there's many things you can do manipulating, moving, uh, locking certain channels, etc., like that, like you'd see probably on a lot of set top boxes. And if I just hit the red button again, I'll just come down to favorites, uh, the satellite, I'll select in here, I'll come down to our satellite, and then I'll select again, and I'll just do OK there. And what I can do at this point is I can just hit the menu button to come back out, and the menu button again to bring us back out to the main menu. I'll come across here for the installation and what we can do here is on the satellite installation we can pick out a particular transponder, add on a transponder, do a search or we come all the way down for a satellite uh, terrestrial scan again and again we'll cover this in some more detail in each of the videos but we'll see that each of the things here of course I'll also work with cable networks although generally not used for that on, the, on either the Irish or UK market um, satellite terrestrial obviously would be the main things if we come along here and we look at the system 
Uh, we'll see that we have languages, um, timer settings, parental controls, software upgrades, all the rest of it here. Probably of most interest here would be something like the CCTV tester here. And we can see we have the Pelco here and also the RS485 settings here, the baud rate, etc., like that. So we're going to actually uh, set this up to work with a PTZ camera. So in that extent, it's very impressive. And uh, we just work through onto uh, conditional access. This is basically where we can insert our card and we can look at encrypted channels. And that could be particularly interesting if you're an installer, I would say, who only did um, pay-per-view channels. So like, just say you were doing a servicing a, a, a series of bookie offices that had a particular interest in a sports racing channel, something like that. And um, maybe that's the only one you're actually setting the dish up for. So you can work directly off it there. Um, we have a media thing here, so what we're able to do is storage devices, PVRs, all the rest of it here. Effectively, there's media player built into it, as you see a lot of things. So you can just add on an external thing, but also you come and take a recording or snapshots of certain points on it and just record it directly on. And what we have here is an application here. These are just features you're never going to use, but there's a, things like weather feeds and things like that there. And finally, then there's a spectrum analyzer, something I'm not going to go into huge detail with. I, I personally have never used a spectrum analyzer, but I, I know there's guys out there who use them in, for various high-end uh, type setups on it. So that, that's basically it. So we can see the overall setting on it's extremely uh, good. And it's portable all the rest of here. So what's really done here is they've just said to themselves, well, we have a massively successful product in the marketplace here. And what they've done is just, just re-engineered it here. So I suppose on the television front, the main fields that people are working on, uh, whether it's uh, professionals, but also DIYers as well, is it's the satellite end and the terrestrial end, but now also the CCTV, the ability to be able to do that, and particularly work PTZ cameras directly from it, all the rest of it. It just expands out further, the, the sort of multi-range this is at. And the fact that it's coming in at a price point, it's roughly a tenth of what a lot of high-end um, meters traditionally have done, who are actually doing less than this. Really what, what you're finding is the high-end market used to differentiate itself by having all these really expensive extra features built in, but such as the growth in technology and the integration of these into more standard units, that it's really shrunk the market and it's saying that units that can be very competitive in price can actually have all the features of the really incredibly high-end meters here. So, I mean, it's huge, meters like this is huge problems for the really high-end, uh, more noted brands out in the market, simply because the, the sales of these are huge, they're selling thousands and thousands of units because they're robust, doing a massive amount of features and have all the capabilities that people need. So that's it anyway, uh, the latest improved version of the X-Finder by Saab, available with free delivery uh, anywhere in Ireland, the UK or right across Europe, uh, directly from freetv.ie.